Resident Evil 7 Not a Hero, the free DLC that has Resident Evil fans waiting, and waiting, and waiting since spring had sprung. We're waiting. Let's once again check in with Capcom for an August update. Once again, they are keeping quiet on this project, so we will have to take matters into our own hands again. Here are seven things we are looking forward to seeing when the Not A Hero free DLC is finally released. Number seven, a new vibe. Resident Evil 7 brought the series back to its survival horror roots with an eerie and scary vibe. Now I know you won't believe me, but there are actually people out there that enjoyed the Michael Bay style action of RE5 and 6. Not A Hero gives Capcom a chance to add a bit of action to the horror. It's hard for me to look at a heavily armed and armored mercenary and not assume action will be kicked up a notch. Orders are shoot to kill. Repeat, shoot to kill. Number 6, New Game Mechanics. On the same day the game was delayed, Famitsu Magazine released a feature on the game that showed a new gas mask oxygen mechanic. Since then, message board rumors have revealed other new game mechanics, and while the original Not A Hero was completely scrapped, we still expect to see new mechanics, although we're not sure what they are at this time. Biohazard 7 Number 5, New Enemies. Resident Evil 7 was kind of a dud when it came to the variety of enemies, but with Not A Hero, they have a chance to add a few more baddies into the mix. You can let your mind run wild here, or you can assume it will be, shocker, more mold. Number 4, New Weapons. We already have seen the first of the new weapons being added in Not A Hero, the Albert Wesker shotgun, Thor's Hammer. If the game takes an action turn, we may even see a few new weapons, including grenades. The real question will be, can we use any of these new firearms in the original game? Use it! Number 3, New Lucas Puzzles or Traps Lucas Baker was a great villain because he added a psychological aspect to RE7. It is assumed that Chris vs. Lucas will be the main battle in Not A Hero, so might we expect to see new traps, puzzles, or mechanical enemies? Concept ideas of turrets in the game shows the engineering side of Lucas could be big in NAH. This is life or death. <laughs> Number 2, The New Umbrella. The new umbrella is Blue Umbrella. Apparently these guys are some kind of good guys, but I mean, what the heck? Not a hero better tell us how this umbrella came to be, why Skinny Chris is in the mix, and what other enemies are out there, whether it be a bad umbrella or a Tensu. We need to know. There is no point in power if it consumes itself. Number one, a new Chris Redfield. The number one thing people want to know about New Umbrella is who this skinny little punk is. I guess it's Chris Redfield, and he has a new look, but is that all that has changed about this classic character? I mean, he is working for Umbrella. What is his role? How did he get here? And if he is saving everyone, how is he not a hero? I'm no superhero. We are excited about those seven things and a whole lot more, and can't wait to see how Not A Hero adds to the RE7 story and lore. All that's left to do is... wait. What are you looking forward to most in Not A Hero, and are you still excited? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe!